Hello, welcome to the Bed Monkey, and I hope you're doing well. Now, one question I get a lot is how can I transfer my website from my current domain to another domain? This is a very, very popular question, and today I'm going to show you how you can do this by making use of a plugin known as the all-in-one WP migration plugin. Now, I've already done a similar video like this in the past. The video was titled uh, How to Backup and Clone a WordPress website in 2018. So in this particular video, I made use of a plugin known as the Duplicator plugin. But today I'm going to make use of a different plugin, which is the all-in-one WP migration plugin. So basically the end result is the same, but the process by which you actually go about transferring uh, the website from one domain to another is a little bit different with the uh, all-in-one WP migration plugin. So sit back, relax, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, let's get started. All right, so let's get this party started. And as I mentioned earlier, we will be making use of the all-in-one WP migration plugin. Now here is my current domain. This is the web .com. This is a full functional business website. And by the way, if you want to learn how to build this site, I do have the video here on YouTube. I will post the link in the description box below. So here's the site I would like to transfer over to this domain, which is the backup.tascopita.com. This is a fresh installation of WordPress. There is nothing more to this particular site. So what I've done is I have already gone ahead to install and activated the all-in-one WP migration plugin. You can see it right here. And I've also done the same on my backup site. The all-in-one WP migration plugin is here as well. So here's the process. Okay, I'm going to jump back to webcoders.tascopita.com. And then from here, I'm going to click on export. All right. Let's go to export. So in here, you have the ability to search for particular kinds of text in your database. If you wanted to replace maybe a particular kind of string with another, you can do so right here. But here's what I'm actually interested in right here, the advanced options. You can click this to expand. And now in here, you can choose particular kinds of files that you do not want to transfer to your uh, new domain. So as an example, you can choose not to export plugins. Just click the checkbox right there. You could choose not to export post revisions and so on. But what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to transfer everything. OK, so I'm going to click right now export to and now in here you have a variety of options. I'm going to go with the file. All right. Click on file and now it says preparing to export. Check an extensions compatibility. And OK, so this will take a few. Well, <laughs> I was going to say this will take a few seconds, but you can see right now the entire site has been backed up and it's ready to be downloaded. So I'm going to click on download webcodes.tascopita.com. It is about 70 megabytes in size. So I'm going to pause the video right now and resume once I have finished downloading this file. All right. So as you can see right now, I have finished downloading the file. So I'm going to jump over to my backup website right now. Go to all in one WP migration, click on import. And then I'm going to click on import from file. And now I'm going to choose the file I've just downloaded. I'm going to click on open. And that is it. So again, I'm going to pause the video because this will take a few seconds. So I'll resume the video once the importation of the file has concluded. Alrighty, welcome back. And now you should see a message that says that the input process will overwrite your website, including the database, media, plugins, and themes. Please ensure that you have a backup of your data before proceeding to the next step. So basically the importation has been concluded and now it is time to actually install those files. So I'm going to go ahead now and say proceed. Okay. All right. This shouldn't take too long. Okay. So now it says your data has been imported successfully. Now you need to perform two more steps. You must save your premium link structure twice. Twice is the keyword right here. So to do this, we're just going to go ahead and click on the premium links settings from here. This will take us straight. All right. I should mention this right now. So remember now that we have transferred all the files, the database from our current domain, which is webcoders to our new domain, which is backup.taskcreator.com. As a result, 
the username and password that we used to create or to log into the backup.taskcomputer.com website is now obsolete. So we're going to have to use the username and password from web coders. Okay. So I'm going to jump in here right now. I'm going to change my username to coders and then my password. I'm going to add the new password. And now let's log in and cool. So we're taken straight to the Premier link structure page. So for me right now, I'm going to click on save changes. That's one. I'm going to go back in here again and I'm going to click on save changes again. <laughs> and there you go. Our site is good to go. And there you have it. That's exactly how to transfer your files from one domain to another, making use of the all in one WP migration plugin. Now, of course, you can also choose to review the plugin. If you really like the way the plugin works, just click on the link right here. And of course, you can tell the developers how much you love this plugin. It's the best plugin ever. Just come in here and uh, put in your review. All right. So that's pretty much how to transfer files from one site to another using the all-in-one WP migration plugin. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any questions about this particular process or the plugin, feel free to put your comments in the uh, comments section below. Thank you for watching and uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.